Reproductive rights issues will be closely watched in this election, particularly when you consider that here in the United States, women make up some 53% of the electorate. Now, since 2022, when Roe versus Wade was overturned, Roe versus Wade, of course, which protected access to abortion. Since then, some 16 states have ceased nearly all abortion services. The question is then, where do all the major candidates stand on this question? Starting with Donald Trump. Now, on the campaign trail, he's been speaking about the fact that he appointed three conservative justices to the Supreme Court, of course, who had that key role in overturning Roe versus Wade. In terms of term limits, the New York Times has been reporting that Donald Trump uh, could back a 16-week national abortion ban, three exceptions being in the case of rape, incest, or to save the life of the mother. Nikki Haley as well, also being fairly vague on the campaign trail. Previously, she had said that she believed that it's up to individual states to pronounce on the matter. Vastly different take then from President Biden and his re-election campaign team, making it a centerpiece, in fact, of their bid for re-election. And in fact, the vice president, Kamala Harris, coming out as a key defender of abortion rights, saying recently that women, for example, who have had miscarriages have been denied access to emergency care because of what has been happening. Now, another area has also opened up in this discussion with regards to reproductive rights in this country. This is the Supreme Court in Alabama, and there the Supreme Court had ruled that frozen embryos created through IVF should be considered children. And as a result of that, some clinics, IVF clinics, suspended their services. Since then, lawmakers have put bills forward to protect IVF treatments, but it caused a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion for women, for families, Donald Trump coming out saying we want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, not harder. And also President Biden saying uh, that this shows the what he called disregard for women's ability to make these decisions for themselves and their families, calling it outrageous and unacceptable and directly linking it to Roe. But what all of this goes to show is that this will be a very thorny issue uh, in the campaign, particularly when you keep in mind 69% of people right across America think that first trimester abortion should be legal, which just goes to show for the Republican Party and for Republican candidates, it is a difficult tightrope to navigate.